Welcome back to the Streets channel. Uh, today we're doing a DIY wax video. Right now you can see on the screen our latest event coming out on the 25th of April with the Milk Gang Boys. You can check that out on our Instagram. So let's get into it. Boom. So first thing you're going to need is a wax. Uh, so you can get this from a candle from a shop. You're also going to need a pot. Um, any old pot that you've got. Try not to use something new uh, unless you bought it specifically for this. And then something to hold it. And then also maybe some coloured wax or some food colouring as well. And then also I've basically got this as a wick, which is basically just some little toys with some string hanging out of them. So the first thing I did was set up the workspace, make sure that I've got somewhere that I can basically have spillage just in case. Um, and then obviously, as you saw at the beginning, the pots that I've actually got, I've got holes in them. So uh, I need to basically cover those holes. So I've just got some aluminum tape here, which I'm basically taping up the holes with to make sure that I have no leakage, uh, which I do, but you'll see that it still worked out okay, which is all right. Um, if you are using a different pot, obviously you'll probably not have no holes in them. These pots were actually for toys originally. So that's why they've got holes, but you'll have something with out holes or you can use um, a tin can or a soda can and basically just take the lids off of them with a can opener um, and they'll suffice as, uh, as good molds as well um, and also as good holders for you to sort of keep in your bag and stuff um, the idea is this should be compact but yeah they're done now so um, now basically what I'm going to do is add in the colored um, wax that I got basically from uh, some cheese um, and then also I'm adding in the, the main wax, which I've got from this candle, which I actually bought on sale for about two pounds. So it's a really good size candle, but you can get candles quite cheap, which is really good. So uh, yeah, I'm just basically chopping off um, parts of, I guess this leaf flowery looking candle at the moment uh, and putting it in the pot. And now I'm basically cutting up an old um, carrier bag, which I can use basically to line a basket. Uh, and this is basically gonna allow me to um, put it in a basket, which I can put them all into the fridge at once. And then also just in case there's any spillage or any leakage or whatever. So yeah, I'm popping them in the basket now with the uh, toys sticking out with the little wicks, um, which is really, really cool. Um, and now I am basically putting in the wax and some butter in there as well. Now the butter basically mixes in with the wax and basically allows it to have a little bit more of a better texture and compound so that when you actually rub it onto the ledge or the rail or whatever it is that you're planning to do it on, um, it'll actually slide a little bit better um, and it'll actually sit on there a little bit better and a little bit longer, which is really good. So um, don't go too crazy on the butter because otherwise your, your texture will go completely wrong and then it will melt a lot quicker in, in the sun and stuff. Um, the more butter you add, obviously the more slippery your wax is, but also the more prone to melting it is um, and basically the lower sort of temperature it starts to melt at, which is a little bit annoying. So yeah, don't go too crazy with the butter, but obviously a little bit of butter is good. Um, if you haven't got butter, oil, um, I'll also add it in um, basically just an aftershave as well, just a couple of sprays so that it smells nice as well, which is really cool. Um, you can do that with anything, house spray, um, perfume, aftershave, anything like that. Um, and then you can also add in a drop of oil as well if it helps. And then uh, vinegar, actually just a tiny drop, will actually help separate all the particles between the different um, substances that you're using and it'll actually help it blend a little bit better, which is really good. So just um, any, any uh, either malt or balsamic vinegar, um, they'll help. Try not to use white vinegar um, because that won't help at all. Uh, so yeah, basically it had a nice red color, but then I thought I'd add in some green. It didn't really go well. And now I've ended up with a wine red. So yeah, I've uh, put them in the fridge now and um, I'm now cleaning up the hot plate uh, to try and get rid of any remnants of uh, wax, uh, which can be a little bit difficult, which is why obviously you're supposed to set it up so that you don't have any of these issues but uh yeah still a little bit of spillage sometimes this happens you've got to be careful so they're out of the fridge now need them in there for probably about four or five hours um what i would say is probably maybe put some some uh dishwashing liquid uh inside your molds uh, so they slide out easier as you can see i'm having a little bit of a difficult time now scraping them out with the knife but eventually i get them all out um the wicks and the toys didn't go in the exact positions I want, but they are there. I managed to fill a glue stick as well. Um, my, one of my old glue sticks that I basically use for wax is a good push and pull mechanism. And I've also done an ice cream tray as well, or an ice tray basically full of wax, which I'll put some toys in later. So here's the finished product. Um, looks really good, really clean actually. Um, and that's gonna go in a pot and we're gonna basically give these out at our events. These are the ones with the toys um, in them from the ice cream tray and I popped them all out. Um, I stick it out the pots as well um, for the bigger waxes and I put the house lids on them. So yeah, everything's really cool, really nice. Uh, and yeah, this is my glue stick, which I can just basically put. This is a really good one. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope this really helped out and um, check out our socials for more stuff, uh, more events.